Hello, from Fred. Each Fred series is labeled with very specific units, so you know exactly what's being measured. And Fred allows you to choose the units you want. The first item in the Units drop-down menu is Change. This bar graph shows the monthly change in employment, specifically how many thousands of persons were added or subtracted from the total amount as of the previous month. The graph shows about 331,000 persons were added to the payrolls in November of 2014. Percent change from a year ago can be used to reveal, among other things, an estimate of inflation, which is the change in the price level. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, measures the price level. When transformed to percent change from year ago, each data point is more than just a simple value. It's a calculation of the difference in percentage terms between the price level at one point in time and the price level exactly one year before. The January 2014 value is about 1.6%, which means the CPI increased about 1.6% from January 2013 to January 2014. The Bureau of Economic Analysis converts gross domestic product, or GDP, to a growth rate using compounded annual rate of change. Here, GDP is defined as a growth rate instead of in billions of dollars. FRED also allows you to create a custom index. You can transform the data so that one data point, which you choose, takes a value of 100, and all other points are calculated in relation to that first point. For example, if the first value is set to 100, and the second value is double the first value, then the second value would be 200. If the second value is half of the first value, then it would be 50. This is a great way to see how two series have changed over time, even if they have different units. In the simplest terms, the custom index lets you compare apples with apples. For example, comparing the price of gasoline with the number of vehicle miles traveled. Tell your friends, Fred says hello.